So you want to learn how to become Danny Phantom, but you're not a ghost and your name's not Danny. Well, a quick name change can fix that one. Uh, the ghost one, that, that might be a little bit more rough to do. Hey guys, I'm Matus by Kyle Kind here, back once again taking a look at how to create a hole in something in Blender by using the Boolean tool. So this is like one of the simplest things to do. It's one of the coolest things to do. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to hit S. Um, SX to scale the cube in a very strange way and then SZ to scale it upwards like this So now we have this like big thick wall here. I can make it a little skinnier by hitting SY make it a little skinnier like that um, And now what we need to do is we need to add in another cube So hit shift a and we'll search for a cube and now you can see this is intercepting the um, The big wall that we have here. This is what we want. So let's go ahead and say we have a we have a nice little window shape like this, you know and I want to go ahead and cut this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the big, the big, uh, the big old wall here. Go to the modifiers tab, hit add modifier, and then we're going to go on down to the boolean feature. And then we're going to select in the object section right here. I'm going to select the other cube, which is this bad boy. We can name it something. We can name him Jeff, and we can name the main cube Danny because he is the main character after all. So now, um, on the big wall. We have the boolean uh, with the boolean modifier, and then we have the object set to the smaller cube in the middle. And now you can see we have to set the difference, not union, not intersect, but we have it set the difference. And um, once we have that done, we can go ahead and hit this little drop down box and hit apply. And now once that's done, we can click the little cube in the middle and hit delete. And you can see now we have a nice little hole in the middle of the wall. So super super easy, super super simple. And when we hit tab, we go into edit mode. Um, you can see that it actually gives it some uh, some pretty decent, you know, uh, vertices, some pretty nice stuff. There's These up here are a little messed up. Um, so you could go back through and fix these up real quick. I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and go to the face select tool, uh, mode and just click this little face here and hit delete. Um, and then we'll go faces. So now you can see, if you go back to vertices select mode, um, uh, all of these should look like this. So the, the, the corner should be connected to the inside piece here. And if it's not, that could cause some issues if you have other, like, you know, if you start subdividing, you start doing something strange. So let's go ahead and hold down shift, select this piece up here, this piece, hold on shift, continue holding shift, and we'll select all four of these and hit F to create a nice little face right there. And as you can see, um, you can see now we have a nice little piece that fits in perfectly right up, right there. Um, and if we come on out of that, you can see now this has a nice little vertice. And we'll do the same thing up top here. So hold on shift. Select all four of these uh, vertices, hit F to create a face, and then the last one will do the same thing. Hold down Shift, select all four of these, and hit F to create a face. Now, when we click and move this, you can see they will all move properly. And if we wanted to go ahead and subdivide this by uh, double tapping A to select everything, and then hit right clicking your mouse, and then hitting subdivide, you can see now it subdivides properly instead of like this side where we did not do it and it looks a little weird and it has like incomplete vertices where this is like not connected to anything and it's like acting strange. See how that acts weird right there? But this one, this one acts normal. See the difference? So that is the, uh, that's the uh, fix for that, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Hope this was helpful. If you did, let me know down below. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.